Harry Greb is regarded by many boxing historians as one of the best middleweights in boxing history and is also placed highly on light heavyweight lists. He was known as the Pittsburgh Windmill due to his ferociously high punch volume and come forward swarming fight style. Greb had an official boxing record of 104 wins, 8 losses and 3 draws but taking newspaper decisions into account this rises to 261 wins in 299 bouts. Harry Greb began his professional career in 1913. He beat the reigning light heavyweight champion Batlin Levinsky no fewer than six times by newspaper decision in non-title fights. He also held scalps over names such as Jack Dillon, Mike McTeague, Gunboat Smith, Bill Brennan and many other notable opponents before being the first and only man to defeat the great Gene Tunney becoming the American light heavyweight champion in the process. He defended this title against Tommy Loughran before losing it in a rematch with Tunney. However, just one month later, Greb would defeat Johnny Wilson to become the world middleweight champion in 1923. He defended this title four times, most famously against the great Mickey Walker in 1925. But in 1926, and at the age of 32, Greb lost his title to the top defensive southpaw Tiger Flowers by controversial decision before claiming retirement. Unfortunately, Harry Greb's was another life cut tragically short that same year after he underwent surgery and never awoke from the anaesthetic. He died on October the 22nd, 1926, aged just 32. It is no wonder that Harry Greb continues to fascinate boxing fans and historians alike. What I have told you is made even more intriguing by the fact that since 1921, Greb was believed to have been blind in one eye. This shows the measure of the man, who it is clear gave his best work in the following five years. This is my appreciation video for the great Harry Greb, to bring him to the attention of those who may be unfamiliar the half-blind man who became middleweight champion of the world, handed Gene Tunney his only loss, and won the best part of an almost 300 fight career. A true fighter and warrior, he fought and often defeated all who would stand opposite him, from middleweights right up to heavyweights. A truly fearless boxer and an all-time great. So here's to you, Harry Greb, the Pittsburgh Windmill.